Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Wildfires pose a significant threat to wildlife, property, and millions of acres of the world's forest and natural environment. Over the years, it has become more and more difficult for firefighters to tackle blazes when they occur in remote regions of the world, with no easy access to truck and water hoses. That is why firefighting agencies in America are quickly turning to Modular Airborne Firefighting Systems, or MAFs. These are essentially pressurized tanks that hold special chemical fire retardant. MAFS units contain either pure water or a retardant called slurry. Slurry is made up of 85% water and a 15% mixture of ammonium sulfate. A jelly agent and a bright red coloring to help pilots to identify areas that have been covered by the retardant. When sprayed on a blaze from low altitudes, this retardant can pretty much stop any fire in its tracks. To quickly reach an isolated fire location, the MAFS unit is loaded onto a Lockheed C-130 Hercules, a prop-driven military transport aircraft that has been in service for nearly 70 years. The MAFS unit consists of a series of fire retardant tanks. Each of these tanks has a total capacity of around 3,000 gallons, weighing 28,000 pounds. The huge containers can be loaded in the massive aircraft without any structural readjustments. Placed on a pallet, they are loaded into the C-130's cargo bay in just two hours. A special dispersal nozzle is then attached to the side of the aircraft. The latest version of the system boasts a significant upgrade in the unit's firefighting abilities. The C-130 is perfect for aerial firefighting due to its size, swiftness, and overall hauling ability. It can carry a massive, 45,000-pound payload over a range of more than 2,300 miles. It is very quick, too, boasting a top speed of around 370 miles per hour, ensuring it can get to the scene of a fire as many times as possible within the available window period. In fact, after discharging its entire load of fire retardants, it is able to swiftly return to an air tanker base, get refilled, and be airborne again in less than 20 minutes. Another strong advantage of the Hercules is its ability to operate out of unprepared airstrips with just 3,000 feet of runway. All the capabilities of the C-130, combined with the effectiveness of the MAFS systems, produces a great match for any wildfire. The U.S. isn't the only country in North America that has millions of acres of forest that need protecting. Up north in Canada, the government uses a very similar system to fight wildfires. In this case, the country's ever-ready aerial firefighter is the Canadair CL-415 Bombardier. an amphibious aircraft that was designed specifically to function as a water bomber to help fight blazes along the Canadian coast and inland. 
Over the years, the CL-415 Bombardier has been shipped out to dozens of other countries, including France and Italy, where it has since become a major method of combating coastal infernos. The aircraft can also perform other roles, like utility transport alongside search and rescue missions. Water remains a major weapon in the firefighting endeavor. Nevertheless, for a ship far at sea, it might be too risky to wait for assistance from external firefighting services when a fire occurs on board. In the port of New York, one of America's largest ports, the New York Fire Department utilizes a fleet of fireboats to tackle blazes on land, along the shoreline, and in water. These vessels don't need tanks, as they use two powerful pumps located in the engine room to pull water from the lake or river underneath them. This is the engine room. These right here are our two big fire pumps that put out a lot of water. 7,000 gallons is what we can put out of water, which is the equivalent of six fire engines that you see going down the street. These fireboats also carry other firefighting accessories that land-based firefighting trucks have. Over the years, they have become a permanent fixture in many cities with significant waterways. They are also used heavily by the U.S. Navy for ship fires that take place in port. But what happens when a fire takes place in the middle of the ocean, far out of reach of any fireboats? Many naval ships are like floating cities, and any good city should have its own fire department. In fact, the U.S. Navy drills every single person aboard their ships on how to fight fires. We have a saying in the Navy, every sailor is a fireman first. That's why when it comes to damage control, it's everyone's responsibility. If there's a damage, if there's any issues, we gotta save the ship. That's why we're all trained how to do fires. We're all trained on basic safety and how to save each other and how to save the ship. Not only are there thousands of people aboard some larger ships, but most also have vehicles, ordnance, and other items that could easily start a fire. So at various points around the vessel, one can clearly see easily accessible firefighting equipment, including hoses, masks, and uniforms. From the marvelous inventions that can transform massive airplanes into fierce aerial firefighters, through the specialized firefighting airplane and helicopters, to the fireboats and determined shipmates, the battle against raging fires has truly pushed humanity to come up with marvelous feats of engineering. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.